Why are invasive iguanas just falling out of trees? Well, it's simple. It's in their biology. Green iguanas, just like all other reptiles, amphibians, and most fishes, are ectothermic. Ectothermic just means that they require or they depend on the environment for their body temperature. We are endothermic. We produce our own body heat, usually around 98.6 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. But they do not. They cannot produce their own body heat. They require, you know, sunlight. That's why you see reptiles, amphibians out in the sun in the early mornings because they're basking. They're absorbing that heat and they are warming up their bodies. And when they're warm, when their environment is warm, they're warm. When their environment's cold, they're cold. And what happens to an ectothermic organism like a green iguana when it gets cold, it its body slows down, its body functions slow down, digestion slows down, muscle contractions slow down, and in their native range, green iguanas don't really have to worry about cold snaps like that. They're native to Central America and South America, and where they've been introduced into Florida and, and southern parts of Florida, occasionally it does get cold. So when it does get cold and they're up in the trees, the air is the first thing that gets cold, so they start shutting down, their bodies start shutting down, their muscle contractions just stop working and they fall out of the trees. They look dead, they look frozen, but they're not. As soon as they get back warmed up, they're going to be able to move around and scurry back up into that tree. And since they are deemed invasive to the local ecosystem and infrastructure due to their burrowing, it is illegal to possess a green iguana in the state of Florida without the proper uh, license or permit. So don't go out and grab yourself a green iguana since it's nice and slow and easy to catch and put it in your house. One, if you don't have the permit, it's illegal. Two, once he warms up, he's not going to like where he's at. He's going to use those really sharp uh, claws that they have for digging and that whipping tail to defend himself. So you could get hurt, the animal could get hurt, and well, it's illegal. So if you're in an area where it's going to dip down into the 30s and you have iguanas in your trees, I would stay clear of walking underneath those trees, or at least grab an umbrella, and don't park underneath any trees. A big 10 to 15 pound male green iguana falling on your car, eh, that can cause some hail damage. Iguana damage. Does insurance even pay for that? I don't know. Well guys, I hope this video has answered your question as to why is it raining green iguanas down in Florida. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and a subscribe for more videos like this explaining phenomenons with invasive species. Until next time, plant native and drink local.